Hi, I'm Prasanna from Drona Aviation. We're starting a new series on drone programming using Cygnus IDE. And this is the first video. This series will focus on how to use Cygnus IDE to build projects on your Pluto Nano drone. So, let's begin. The first thing we are going to do is download and install the Cygnus IDE. Now, you can download the Cygnus IDE using the link in the description below or you can download it off our website. There are three versions available, one for Windows, one for Mac and one for Ubuntu. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do the installation on a Mac. The process for Windows and Ubuntu is very similar. So once you have downloaded, uh, you will get a zip file. Uh, make sure that you have enough space on your hard drive uh, before you extract this file. So let's just go ahead and double click on this link on this on the zip file so that we can start extracting all the files. It takes a while before uh, all of this extracts. Okay, so now uh, in this case we have extracted uh, the file. Now we have an executable called Cygnus. The next thing we want to do is we want to move this file in applications. In Windows and in Ubuntu, you don't have to do that. But in Mac, it, it, it's a good idea that you shift this file to your applications folder. So go to the Finder settings and I will just go to the applications and I'll just drag and drop my file here in applications. So because I already had a file here, so I'm going to replace it. Okay, so now we have the new version of Cygnus in our applications. So let's let's begin. So let's open the application. Now, if you have downloaded this file uh, and you are installing this for the first time, uh, Mac always uh, has this security in place. So you just go ahead and click open. Okay, so uh, we can see that uh, once you're in the in the applications folder, uh, you have <coughs> the option of having uh, the contents of the workspace inside the app itself, and which I think is a good idea. So this is a workspace where all your projects will be kept. So I'm going to stick to the recommended workspace and click launch button. Okay. You successfully launched the Cygnus ID. The next thing we want to do is we want to see if we can build a small project and build it and flash it on our drone. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, let's go to File, New. Uh, I here have a project a Pluto 1.2 with me. So just go ahead and click uh, Pluto 1.2 project. Okay. We're going to name it, let's say uh, Test 1 and click Enter. The moment you do that, uh, we get a standard template file in the uh, Cygnus. So uh, in the next couple of videos, we're going to explain you all the structures of what are those different functions and everything. In this video, we're going to try to make a small code and let's see if we can flash and build this on our Pluto drone. Okay, so you just go ahead uh, and uh, bear with me for a while till I write a small piece of code so that we can test out. So. Uh, in, in Pluto, you have a bunch of APIs, okay? Uh, if you want to use specific APIs, you will have to include that specific library. Uh, we will go much more in detail after, uh, in, in, in next couple of videos. For now, just bear with me. So what I'm trying to do essentially is that I'm trying to control the LEDs on our drone. So, So this particular command makes sure that uh, the firmware of the drone is not controlling the LEDs. Uh, we are trying to control the LEDs. So it will take the control off the firmware. And uh, when you start the user code, I want the LED uh, to toggle. So what I'm going to say is that I take the, take the red LED and I try to toggle it. Now, by default, this loop that I'm putting the command in, it runs at about 100 milliseconds. So the LED toggle should be very much visible. And in the end of the user code, I will just set the LED off. So 
you have to do this in capitals all right so we are done with the small piece of code now let's try and see if we can build this code so i save it first then i try to build it so you can see that when you try to build you get all the information regarding the build in the console window right if you're successful you will get the message that the build is successful if not you will get a bunch of errors in in the console window in this case the build is successful the next thing we want to do is we want to connect to pluto and flash this piece of code okay so get your plutos ready i am going to add the battery connection i'm going to start the drone and because we're going to program the led we would need access to see what's inside so i'm just going to take off the canopy and you can see that uh, there is there is a led which is a red color but this is the power led this is not controlled by uh, the firmware so we are going to program the led which is right beneath this led okay so uh, in order to flash the code on the drone uh, you go to wi-fi and you connect to the wi-fi of your pluto drone okay so now we are connected to our drone the next thing we want to do is we want to flash the firmware on our drone so what we're going to do is we're going to connect to our wi-fi uh, in this case this is pluto 2019 7368 and the username and password will be provided in the box and um, you can use that so now that we're connected to the wi-fi uh, the next thing we want to do is flash the firmware on the drone okay so we're going to press the normal uh, flash button so the flashing is going on, on the bottom right side of the screen you can see a status bar it's generally a good idea that you go to preferences and uh, make sure that you kind of uncheck this always run in background so what happens is when you do this uh, you can see all the flashing and everything on on the main screen itself so i will i will uh, show that in a little bit so for example now i have flashed it but just to show you the difference so you can go ahead and press wi-fi normal flash so you can see that uh, this console actually appears on the screen which is better in terms of uh, what is going on you you would be able to see it in a better way okay so right now we are writing the data so by the time this is flashing make sure that you have your mobiles ready and also uh, while flashing you have to make sure that your app is not connected to your drone otherwise the flashing you will get a lot of errors okay so um, now I have got my mobile and all I have to do is connect the app uh, on on my drone so the next step is just connect the from the app and um, Okay, so now we have connected our, our phone to our drone and you can see that there is no toggle right now on the drone, okay? Now all I have to do is press the developer mode on. So I, I am going to click the button over here and you are going to see the LED toggle, okay? Now when the developer mode button is on, the user code starts to run, okay? So we can see that um, we have successfully created, uh, built and flashed a code on our Pluto drone uh, and our entire process seems to work perfectly fine. So we have finished the main task which is to check if everything is working fine. I hope you like this video and learn something from this video. Please like and subscribe to our videos so that you can get more of such content in the future. See you.